Hey guys, my name is Mark from Jazz Guitar Sons Net. Welcome to this video. Everyone's favorite topic, modes. Not necessarily. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you the approach that I use to master modes and totally understand them without memorization and by relating the name of the crazy modes like Phrygian and Locrian to a specific sound and having something to refer back to. If you've never done this, I recommend perhaps that you watch this video more than once so you can watch it every day for a week and then maybe next week three times. These things just take time. So it's seldom exposed in this fashion. So just to get started, a mode is a collection of tone. For instance, our point of reference for this video is gonna be the C major scale. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Please make sure you're able to play it in that position as well, starting with the second finger here. And we will call these by a reference number as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. What we will do throughout this video is see each mode as it appears as a derivative from a C root. So instead of doing uh, what people typically do, D Dorian, G Mixolydian, D Dorian, what, what are these names? We will do C major, C Dorian, C Phrygian. We'll do all from root C, and you're gonna see it. You're gonna see it's pretty simple. All right. So the first thing that you want to get started with is to, under, is to understand that we will only alter one note at a time, and we will wind up with seven different uh, modes, which are all modes that could be derived from the major scale. I will name the parent scale that comes with it, and if you've done theory before, you can relate it back to the circle of fifths, and you can also relate it back to key signatures if you're familiar with that. You know, the sharps and flat at the beginning of the tune, they're all the same. So I'm just exposing you to a system this way that was well, that is not mine, but that was the one that made me click when I was uh, pretty, like, 18. Like, oh, this is all there is. Yeah. Let's get going. C major reference point. One of the names for this guy is C Ionian. Ionian. They're Greek names, right? C Ionian is pure. It's normal. Nothing is altered. C, D, F, G, A, B. White notes on the keyboard. All right. Where we want to start, not so surprisingly, is by using a flat 7. So we will repeat the C major scale from C to C, but we'll have a B flat in it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, and I'll go back down. One, seven, six, five, four. All right, this mode is called C mixolydian. So starting from a major scale, it has one alternate note. It is a flat seven, and that's it. This is the scale that is used for dominant chords. So if you play the C9 or C7, right? That's the most. It's not a C major 7, it's dominant 7. Perfect. How many times did you hear your teacher say, focus on the third and sevenths? Hmm, go figure. We just altered the seventh. Okay? If you're quick on the draw, I'm going to say this, aka fifth mode of the F major scale. That's. It's the fifth of the F major scale. I'm not gonna get into the detail of that, but F major scale is the parent scale, right? So we went from C major to F major. Hmm, look at that. Now we'll keep using C as our standpoint. We will now uh, keep the seventh being flat. So this flat seven stays. And all these flats are always cumulative. Now we'll flatten the third as well. So go C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B. And that could be a, say, a C minor 9, or a C minor 7, C minor 11. That mode is called C Dorian, okay? Think about this. We went from C major, we added two flats, the third and the seventh, and we have the Dorian mode of C. And if you only flat one, which is just a seven, you have the Mixolydian mode. So right then and there, you have the three modes required to play over a 2 5 one. Right? So everything is sort of related, uh, as I told you uh, earlier on. So one of the things I want to tell you as well is that C Dorian has the same number of flats and sharp as B flat major. So this is the second mode of B flat major. C Dorian is the second mode of B flat major. All right. If this is going too fast, pause the video, rewind from the beginning, it all makes sense eventually. All right. Now we have three modes out of seven. We're almost halfway. Good job. So the next thing we want to do is to flatten one more note. Okay. 
and that one more note will be, in this case, the sixth. It will be the A flat. You also notice that these notes that we're flattening, we flatten the B, and then we flatten the E. So the logic is to keep going in fourth like this. Now we're going to flatten the A, right? So it's the sixth. So your notes will be, again, C, D, E flat, F, G, A flat, B, and C. I recommend you play this way. And this is also for a C minor chord. Uh, but it, it is the, um, the mode that we call C A Aeolian. C Aeolian is AKA C natural minor. So now we have three flats. And look at that, C natural minor is the relative to, to E flat major. Meaning that C minor, Aeolian minor, not Dorian minor, is the sixth mode of E flat major. It has three flats. So you see, we went from one flat, two flat, now we have th three flats. What's logical? Well, let's get to the next flat. What's the next flat in line? We went B, E, A, and then what's up from A? Another fourth up, it's just a D. So we will flat the D in that scale. Yeah, I know. So we have our C alien, right? But then go. More um, Middle Eastern sounding, right? How do we call this? I'll just tell you, it's also a C minor seven sound and it's called C, uh, C Phrygian. Sorry, I don't wanna mix mixed up in my own lies. C Phrygian is the third mode of A flat major. A flat. All right. So now we have four modes, hang in there. We're missing the next one, which is Locrian and then we're missing one more. Whew. So C, we've started by flatting a B. Flatting an E, flatting an A, flatting a D, then which note we flat next? Another fourth up is a G. So we're gonna do the same scale again, but flat the G. So look at that. We have a C major scale. To which we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. It's like, ugh. It's like almost all the notes are flat, right? The only note that stay that stayed is the C, of course, and the F. So you go play your C major scale, flat everything but the C and the F. You ready? C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C. And that one is called C Locrian. Yuck, I don't like that mode very much. It's pretty dark. And it is the seventh mode of the key of D flat major. So D flat major has five flats, and those are the flat. This is only it's everything we're allowed to, to flat in the scale, right? So we have the C major scale. You can't really flat the C because then it's not a C scale anymore and you can't flat the F because then it's, it's got to denature it and sound like a, actually a major third. Sorry, I'm going <laughs> really fast through this. Uh, if you need more info, you'd like to work one-on-one uh, -on -one with a coach, just check the description below for the Jazz Guitar Accelerator program, which is where I take people from here and improve their playing by more than 50% over the span of 10, 12 weeks. Uh, link in the description below. All right, let's just recap. Now we have six modes, right? So we have the C major. We have the C mixo, flat the seven. We have the C Dorian, flat the third and the seven. And now we have the C natural minor flat, the third, the seventh, and the sixth. Now we have the C Phrygian flat, the two, ha, sorry, flat, the two, the third, uh, the sixth, and the seventh. And lastly, we have the Locrian, which is flat everything. I'm just gonna stop na naming them. It's just giving me a headache, okay? But now you're gonna say, well, didn't you say there were actually seven modes and we only have six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So I'll tell you the secret. There is one more mode that is brighter than the C major scale. And we should have started there, but I didn't wanna add any confusion. So the mode is as follows. It's a C major scale with a raised fourth. And this one is brighter because it's the parent scale is G major, meaning C Lydian, that's the name of the mode, is the fourth mode of G major. So if you look at this, all we did, if you wanted to take a visual example, put this on the screen. We wrote down the seven, the seven notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. We went, all right, we're gonna cycle through the keys and keep the note names the same, but just make alterations to this. So what we started with is C, D, E, F, G, A, B with an F sharp. And then we went, oh, that's G major parent. Then we went one notch. Oh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, with no flats, no sharp. That's C major, C, Ionian. 
We got C Lydia and C Ionian. Then we went C, E, F, G, A, B with a B flat. So we have C Mixolydian. Then the B flat and E flat. Oh, Dorian. And natural minor Aeolian. Then we went Phrygian and Locrian. So that's how we get these seven notes. So ultimately, there's just an order to which we take these seven notes and we flat one and then flat two and flat three and flat four. The order is repeated. And the order is exactly the same as promised early in this video. It's exactly the same as the key signatures. It's exactly the same as cycle of fourths, the chords move and forth. Everything is related. Um, I, I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not into conspirations and stuff. But I'm just saying this, this all works. Like it's all very cohesive with itself to the way we hear these things. Now, the takeaway from this video is that there is a way to memorize modes and know them without having to, to um, recourse to having recourse to, can I say this in English, without having to look into just pure theory and pure whatever. It's it's sound and it, it's logical. The next step for you, if you want to really master a mode, is to look at the ones that are mostly used in songs, which is what I do with my accelerator students. Typically, Dorian, Mixolydian, Major, Sumlydian, those are the big ones. And down the line, when you play more modal tunes, such as Miles Davis, uh, Milestones, or So What, then you can say, well, we're going to stick to this mode for like four bars. So what is this mode? Where does this come from? And what are the notes in it? The smartest thing you can do as a player, and that I did as a kid, is sort of to know which notes are in there. It's like draw a straight line from C to C and go, what notes are there? Is this an F sharp? Is it an F natural? And sort of make peace with the knowledge of these notes. This stuff, the patterns, sort of comes from that. The, the knowledge of it comes first. The knowledge and the hearing of it is much, much more important. On that note, please like and subscribe this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And there's plenty more on the YouTube channel here. And also there's uh, hundreds of lessons on jazzguitarlessons.net, the blog. And uh, that's Improve Your Jazz Guitar Playing with a Real Teacher. I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Thank you.